Really, Che? That's outrageous. The cell phone Senor Geraldo was talking into hadn't been designed for giant hands like his. It had taken him no fewer than five attempts to dial his boss's number, which just goes to show how hard he found it to press a single one of those tiny buttons. Now that he had Senora Mauri on the line, it was as if Senor Geraldo couldn't believe he was being heard on the phone. He made a point of shouting every word. Anyway, I didn't call for the gossip, he explained, then chuckled. The truth is, I rang to see if you had time to meet for lunch today and talk about, uh, let's call it an unpleasant matter. Every last thing, from his casual tone of voice to the indirectness of his question, had been meticulously planned. Senor Geraldo even rehearsed the sentence three or four times so he could have an idea of how it sounded. He knew better than anyone that Senora Mauri, as supervisor of the Phoenix supermarket chain, was always buried under a mountain of problems and never had a minute to spare, which is why he didn't take kindly to last-minute invitations like this one, even when they came from his most competent and dedicated manager, which is exactly what Senor Geraldo was, and despite them being on friendly terms. Sure enough, the supervisor was annoyed. He got straight to the point. Geraldo, about the issue at your store. Whatever it is, you have the autonomy to handle it on your own. In fact, you don't only have the autonomy, but it's also your duty to try to handle it on your own. After all, you're the manager, are you not? Yes, uh, of course I am. But Senor Geraldo cleared his throat, hesitant and disheartened. Even though he'd expected the boss to kick up a fuss, he hadn't counted on him objecting so strongly. Now, look, Che, if you've got to know, I'm not proud, not at all proud of what I'm about to tell you. He then said, improvising, but I think you'll understand, or at least I hope you'll understand. The thing is, I simply have no idea how to solve this problem. There, that's all. And in a sudden burst of inspiration, he added, you were a manager once, Amaudi. I wonder if, back in the day, you never, never ever found yourself in the position I'm in now, without any idea what to do. Yeah, sometimes. I suppose I did, now and then, Senor Amaudi grudgingly admitted, unsure of how to rebut Senor Geraldo's insinuation without seeming arrogant. But, he insisted, can you really not figure it out on your own? Must we really meet to talk it over? Come on, Che. I wouldn't have called if I didn't think it was a big deal. The supervisor smacked his lips on the other end of the line. All right, so be it. Same restaurant as last time? 